Asia has swept the top spots in a closely watched report on education around the globe. The top five are Shanghai, Singapore, Hong Kong, Taiwan and South Korea. Now for sp Singapore specifically, we've made progress in helping weaker students level up against their peers. The study is called PISA, which stands for the Program for International Student Assessment and is done every three years. Singapore's 15-year-old students and their peers in 64 other education systems around the world were tested in the PISA 2012 study. Singapore ranked among the top five in all three subject areas of mathematics, reading and science. It made the biggest improvement in reading, taking third place, up from fifth spot in 2009. One reason for the better performance is that teaching strategies have gone beyond pen and paper practice. In classrooms today, our teachers actually have the strategies to let our students firstly expose our students to a broad range of texts, which includes like opinion ed pieces, which includes infographics, which are authentic materials like advertisements. And then the students were able to process the information, break down the information in the text and reach critical reading. Academically weaker Singapore students performed better in the 2012 study. The proportion of low performers dropped to under 10% for our subject areas. For science, the decrease in low performers was from 11.5 to 9.6%. At the same time, the proportion of high performers went up. In mathematics, for instance, 40% of the students tested were high performers, compared to 36% in 2009. The PISA study was run by the OECD, or the Organization for Economic Development and Cooperation. This is the second time Singapore is participating, and more than 5,500 students, mainly in secondary three and four, were tested. Singapore's PISA performance shows students have a strong grasp of the fundamentals and are able to apply their skills in unfamiliar settings. But there are still limitations to such tests in that there may be specific uh, skills and uh, competencies that cannot be tested in this way. Skills like uh, cross-cultural understanding, uh, the ability to connect with people, the ability to collaborate with others. While these aren't easily tested, the Education Ministry says these are the skills that really matter.